Welcome to another video by Ferris Technology. When you get beyond the basic select query, there's a whole group of other queries that can help you analyze and move data around. So let's explore a few. When you look at the access window here and you come up here to create and go to query design, what, it, what you're left with after you've started to put together your query is you're left in this query design ribbon. So you have to have a query open to see the query design ribbon first. And so the query design ribbon then opens up the possibilities of doing more than just a select query. And what I want to do is go quickly over and explain these. This will just be a basic video so you get an idea what is available and then I'll talk in more detail in future videos. So the make table query is one where you can build up your data, look at combining several tables, and this is when you need to put it into another table that's not yet created. It'll actually make the table for you and it'll create the same field types as the original data that you put together to make the query itself. The next one is an append query. An example of when I've used an append query is when I've created a table that I need to repopulate on occasion. Uh, I'll purge it, load it with new data, and I'll do that with an append query. So an append query just simply either adds to existing data at the bottom of your table, or you can purge it and reload it with all new data, whichever way works for you. Next is an update query. Many times there's opportunities or needs to update data in a table. Like, for example, if it's an accounting type system and you need to update the tax amount or a retail markup amount or various different levels of information in a table, you can then use an update query to manage or change that data on the fly. The next kind up here is a cross-tab query. And what I'd like to do is open a cross-tab query to give you a feel for what they look like. This, for example, is a cross-tab query similar to what you build as a, as a pivot table in an Excel spreadsheet. Here you have the product category, and that is the data that is being pulled from the table and then lists bar equipment and then looks at other data points to say this is the Canadian revenue, this is the Midwest revenue, North revenue, and so forth. When you put together a query like this, you actually tell it the tables that you're going to look at, and then you tell it what you want as your row heading, so the row is going horizontal, and then what you want to do is figure your column heading, and at a minimum you have to have one value. In this case, it's summing the value of revenue in the line total. Now, it creates, the nice thing about it is that it creates your, your column headings on the fly based on the data that's in the table. So in this way, it's very flexible. If you don't have data for a particular entity, it just skips the column. Other times when you have data in a particular area or uh, value that pertains to a value that wasn't a column before, it slips it in the next time you run the query. It's very, very dynamic. Now the next query to look at is a delete query. Now a delete query simply is but the same as what it's named. It will delete the data in your table. Now I can do so based on your uh, criteria that you place, or it can delete the, all the data in the entire table, whichever you need to do. The next is a union query, and a union query just is that. It unions two sets of data. It can be either two queries, or it can be two different tables that a query is built on top of to then write the SQL to union that set of data to another set of data. You can use criteria on it. You can sort it. You can throw it in a pivot table. You can do many, many things with a union query once you have established it and built it up. Um, so very, very flexible when you want to combine like data sets. They have to all have the same field names, the same field types, and as long as they meet those two criteria, you can union those two sets of data 
together. Now, a pass-through query I can't show you an example of. A pass-through query is basically when you're attached to like an Oracle or a Teradata or a SQL Server da database backend. Basically, what you're saying to those backends is here, here's the code, you go run the query. And it's great for having large data sets that need to be worked through, uh, maybe some criteria on it, or maybe some formulas that, uh, that modify the data. It's really good because those, those other systems are usually a lot more robust than the access database that's on your desktop, for example. So whenever you can pass a query off to a more robust server on the back end, that's what you want to do, and you do it through a pass-through query. So I hope this quick review of the different types of queries helps. I'll be doing a video on each one of these in more detail in the future. Hopefully, hopefully um, this has helped get you started, and uh, hope to see you again on the channel sometime. Thanks.